leave it up to the universe to screw me in every possible way. Why is it that tomorrow is my clinical and... Uh, it's flooding outside. Knowing good and well that I'm not really the biggest fan of when it rains. I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of... I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of being outside when it rains. Like, I obviously have no issues with the rain. Love the rain. But having to be outside when it rains and my foot getting wet is just very it's tragic, <laughs> is what it is for me. And what's crazy is tomorrow I have my clinicals and, of course, it would be raining. I'm hoping it's not raining tomorrow because if I wake up tomorrow morning and it's raining, I'm Ubering to the site because I just am I'm not <laughs> I just cannot do all that especially not on the first day of my clinical when being late is a no-no um no can't do that anyways I've just been chilling for <laughs> the longest <laughs> let me just show you guys how I'm vlogging <laughs> right now hi Clearly, I'm very upset about the weather. Also, let me, I feel like this is bothering me. So, this curtain, right? I should probably get new curtains, but since we've put the um, air conditioner in, I've had to kind of fold up my curtain like that and kind of pin it because this is how it originally looks and obviously that's not going to work for that side. And it has really just been bothering me a little bit. And I try to ignore it every time I see it. But now that I'm actually seeing it again, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to take it out. But it's not that serious. Before you know it, it's going to be winter and my butt is going to be freezing off. And I'm going to need to cover the air conditioning unit. So not going to let it stress me. <clears throat> Really am not. So I've been using the time. <clears throat> because the AC is mad loud. I've been using the time to pretty much prepare all the things that I'm going to need tomorrow. Not get, I'm not going to take lunch with me because they do give us lunch at the facility. I heard that the food is really good. I don't know. And obviously I have a different taste. Hopefully I do like it. Because if not, it's going to be tragic. So I feel like tomorrow, if it's raining, I'm going to just um, leave at like 7.15 and get an Uber and stuff. Hopefully it's not 20-something dollars, honestly, because hopefully it's just not. It's making me mad even thinking about the fact that it might be 20-something dollars. Because the other day, I was looking at it just to see. And it said $22, and I'm just like, why? It's not even that far, but... Leave it up to Uber. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess I'll vlog tomorrow because I don't have nothing else to say right now. Just got home from the very first day of clinical and it was good. This morning I was really nervous, but it was really good. Really chill because for the most part, we were just observing. Even though we knew what we were doing, we were just there to observe. Pretty much to shadow the person that we were working with. I got there super early. The lady that I was shadowing, she's Jamaican and she was super nice too. So I was running around with her and then her lunch was at 1 o'clock and we were supposed to leave at 2. So after lunch, you know... We pretty much just left, but it was really good. I'm going to go to Marshall's because I want to get um, a different little bag. You know what I mean? This works for right now. But I think tomorrow I'm either going to take lunch with me or I'm going to eat in the morning. So um, I want to go to Marshall's. What else did I want to buy at Marshall's? I also have to go to the Dollar Tree because there's something that I have to buy there. One of our classmates dropped us home today. Also just picked up them. A package of what's supposed to be my graduation dress and I don't know if it's gonna fit me because I got it in a large and 
normally I wear a medium, but the thing is, I wanted to make sure that I wanted to make sure that um, it fits me because you know lace doesn't necessarily stretch like that. So I sized up and hopefully it fits me and fits me nicely. But today was a really good day, super productive day. Learned a lot. So I think it's gonna fit me. It's green. Yeah, I think it's gonna fit me. <laughs> it's not really stretchy. It's a good thing I took a large. So I'm gonna try it on when I'm done. Um. I feel like it's good that we're getting like the hands-on training so that, you know, kind of prepares us for, I mean, it is the real world. The hands-on training is the real world. And one of our classmates, she was so surprised today because she was just like, oh my gosh, the lady that I was partnered with, she wasn't even wearing any gloves and whatever. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, sometimes they do that. The one that I was partnered with, she still wore her glove and stuff like that. She still did what she was supposed to do, but everybody's different and everybody works different. Kind of out of focus here. So it was somewhat of like a wake up call for her because I guess she wasn't expecting. She was expecting to <laughs> do everything we did in school. Knock at the door, wait for the patient, go and introduce yourself. No, you don't really do all that in the real world for real so it was funny when she was telling us that you know they weren't doing all that but all in all today was this really good day and my head is hurting so bad i just took some painkiller but um super excited to go back tomorrow and then we get a break and then we go back monday and tuesday but um yeah it's good so i'm gonna try my graduation dress on This is what the dress looks like and I love it. And it fits nicely. The large worked out. If I had gone a medium, it wouldn't have been able to fit me. So, works out. Size up with lace. to end the vlog but um today was my second day of clinicals and it went amazing so much smoother than yesterday did which i guess is kind of expected because you know it's your second day and you've already gotten like a feel for things and stuff like that again the lady that i got she was super nice she made most things like a teaching moment i seen a pressure sore today what did i do i um helped with a shower today there was another girl on the floor today she wasn't the person i was partnered with but our instructor said it was okay to like explore people you know as long as we're not doing any hands-on care on our own and this is how i got to see like the pressure store and stuff like that but it was pretty dope and 
I actually did some stuff today. Today was an easier day because obviously today wasn't the first day so it made it easier and you already met the person who you're partnered with so it's less stressful and stuff like that but I loved it. I cannot wait to go back Tuesday and then on Tuesday when I go back I have a paper to give to my person that I was partnered with for her to like fill it out and so um, when I'm done it can highlight all the skills that I've actually taken part in or actually did which I absolutely love and appreciate. Anyways, this is where I'm going to wrap up today's video because I realized that I didn't end the video yesterday and I also wanted to pop in and talk about my experience today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.